Hi there, Pete here. Hope everyone is well. Back again, helping to reveal some of the nonsense in the world. In the last episode, we looked at magic. But in this episode, however, we'll be revisiting Eratosthenes, best known for being the first person to calculate the circumference of the Earth. Now, Eratosthenes was born in 276 BC and was a clever Greek guy living in Egypt. He realised that during a summer solstice at local noontime, the sun was directly overhead the town of Sphenet, now known as Aswan. Eratosthenes knew this because at this specific time, sunlight completely filled the bottom of a deep well. Meanwhile, over in Alexandria, some 523 miles away at the same time, he also realised that a nonum cast a shadow, and after measuring the shadow, Eratosthenes found the angle to be 7 degrees or 1 50th of a circle. Simply by multiplying the distance between Aswan and Alexandria by 50 gives us a pretty accurate estimation of the Earth's circumference. So 523 multiplied by 50 equals 26,150 miles. The actual circumference of the Earth at the equator is said to be 24,901 miles. Slightly over, but not bad at all. Well done, that man. <laughs> but did Eratosthenes actually set out to calculate the circumference of the Earth like we are told? Well, to answer this, let's take a look at the following. Now, we're all familiar with the word assumption. And here's Esther with a definition. A thing that is accepted as true or as certain to happen, without proof. Now, Eratosthenes' method has been accepted without question, yet hinges upon two assumptions. Firstly, the assumption that the sun's rays of light are parallel when hitting the Earth, and secondly, the Earth is a sphere. Well, as one should never assume anything because it makes an ass out of you and me, Let's have a look at these assumptions in turn. If we look at images of Eratosthenes' method, many depict sun's rays to be parallel, and yet we've all seen with our own eyes the sun's rays of light beaming through clouds do in fact converge to a point. So the first assumption is incorrect. The sun's rays are not clearly parallel when they hit the earth. As for the second assumption, this can be disregarded as one would always get relatively consistent results irrespective of the size and shape of the Earth. So, whether the Earth is spherical, flat or even concave, the parameters used within the calculation, although varying slightly, would always remain the same. So it's nonsense to base any calculation of the Earth's circumference on assumptions. But Eratosthenes was a smart guy and would have known all of this. So if Eratosthenes was unable to calculate the circumference of the Earth, what could he have set out to calculate? Well, without making any assumptions at all, Eratosthenes knew the sun traversed the sky each day, casting shadows, and many people during that era probably asked themselves the simple question, I wonder how far away is the sun? As Eratosthenes was a mathematician, he realised that the Sun, the points at Aswan and Alexandria, all formed a right-angled triangle during the summer solstice at noontime. So, with the right angle at Aswan, the angle of the shadow cast being 83 degrees at Alexandria, and the distance between these points, it was very straightforward for Eratosthenes to have calculated the Sun's distance away from the Earth. So let's use Eratosthenes' method to calculate the Sun's distance away from the Earth. Now it's very simple to do using an online calculator like the one here. We simply imagine the point C of the right angle triangle is where Aswan is, the point B where Alexandria is located and the point A is where the Sun is. So we want to find leg B of the triangle. And in order for us to do this, we need to check leg B. 
where the calculator asks us to select value to find. And we then enter 523 or 523 as a known value. 523, there we go, in the leg A box. We then enter 83, 83 as being our known value for angle B here. And all we do is we hit calculate. So according to this method, the sun is actually 4,259 miles away. Well, there you have it. It certainly appears nonsense that Eratosthenes set out to calculate the circumference of the Earth, and it makes more sense for Eratosthenes to have calculated the distance the Sun is away from the Earth. So till next time, always remember, if something doesn't make sense, it's nonsense.